good morning to all i'm dr arno assistant professor program coordinator school of politics and public administration tamil nadu open university dear students today we are discussing about mhr 12 constitutional foundations of human rights in india definition of constitution a constitution defines and uh, delimits the powers of the agency of the state it sets limits the governmental activities as to what it can do and what it cannot do it puts effective system of checks and balances through concentric structure in case of indian constitution it provides for a parliamentary system of government with a federal framework it supreme law of the country according to austin the constitution is the which fix the structure of the supreme government brace states the constitution of a state consists of those rulers or laws which determine the form of government and respective rights and duties of its towards its citizens and of the citizens towards government telling features of indian constitution indian constitution following these seven features it is written constitution rigid and flexible nature parliamentary form of government dual polity popular sovereignty fundamental duties and fundamental rights directive principles of state policy integrated and independent judiciary judicial review single citizenship emergency provinces secular of nature adult suffrage these are the major concepts of the seven features of the indian constitution the written constitution means all articles parts schedules are written by it is a written documentation rigid and flexible india is a indian constitution is a cosy federal system either neither uh, rigid neither nor uh, flexible and uh, we come for a parliamentary system form of government we follow to bicameral legislation lok sabha and rajya sabha we type two type of uh, system we followed dual polity central government as well as the state government we all over popular sovereignty people is the popular sovereignty because they are putting the vote elected their members in state level mlas in central level mps now this is the popular sovereignty fundamental duties and rights indian constitution has giving the right to uh, equality right to freedom right to exploitation right to culture right to education and the constitutional remedies these are the fundamental rights now and fundamental uh, duties also we having every citizen must obey the keep up the fundamental duties also and also we have the following directive principles of state policy directive state policy is the guidelines for central government as well as the state government and come for the integrated judiciary india have supreme court state level high courts and district level uh, district courts and lower courts it is a combine of the integrated judiciary system followed in, in india in in india judiciary has a judicial review uh, judiciary has a review is the a specific feature of indian constitution also it is the india also following the single citizenship only single citizen of india we following the uh, single citizen of india uh, a citizen only we have three type of emergency we have secular nature uh, anybody can pray the anybody follow the religious anybody pray the any god we have the secular nature we have adult secular such type of age we have to put the vote these are the uh, seven features of indian constitution and the preamble indian constitution preamble is we called simply triple s triple s d r sovereign socialist secular democratic republic country this is the taraga mandra of india indian constitution this is the preamble of the constitution it is the key of indian constitution yes yes stands for sovereign s for secular sovereign socialist secular triple s d democratic republic of india country republic country this is the key of indian constitution and we fundamental rights right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights and right to constitutional remedies also constitutional remedy also we have classified five categories number one habeas corpus produce the person before the court it is the common theme of the main theme of the habeas corpus mandamus it is do this work 
ఆర్డర్ వెంటమస్ అండ్ దెన్ ప్రాగిబిషన్ అండ్ క్యూఆర్ ఉండో సెరిటరియో వీ హ్యావ్ అండ్ ఆ ప్రాగిబిషన్ ఇస్ ఆ ఆర్డర్ ఇష్యూ బై ది సుప్రీం కోర్టు ది ఫార్బిట్ సబార్డినేట్ కోర్ట్స్ ఆల్సో క్యూఆర్ ఉండో ది సిరిట్ ఇష్యూ టు రెస్ట్రిక్షన్ పర్సన్ ఫ్రమ్ ది యాక్టింగ్ ఏ పబ్లిక్ ఆఫీస్ టు విచ్ హీ ఈస్ నాట్ ఎంటైటిల్ అండ్ దెన్ క్రిటీరియా సెటీరియా ఆల్సో ద టైమ్ సెటీరియా మీన్స్ టు బి ఇన్ఫార్మ్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ ఆర్డర్ టు లోవర్ లోవర్ కోర్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఏ సుప్రీయర్ కోర్ట్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ది మ్యాటర్ టు ఈట్ టు ఎనీ అదర్ కోర్ట్ ఫార్ డిసైడింగ్ ది మ్యాటర్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ది కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ రెమిస్ రెమెడీస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ మండల్ డ్యూటీస్ దీస్ ఆర్ ది వీ హావ్ లిస్టెడ్ ది సో మెనీ పాయింట్స్ టు fundamental duties uh, to abide by the constitution and respected of deals in the institutions uh, the national flag and the national anthem like this the we have every citizen followed this fundamental duties and then direct to principles of uh, state policy indian constitution for court of constitution article 36 to 51 provisions of direct to principles it, it had three segments now that uh, uh, socio economic and gandhian principles these are the main principles these principles help to the central government as well as the state government to executing their socio economic development programs special provision for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes article 46 article 17 article 23 article 24 25 2 to 154 article 164 article 330 article 332 334 164 and article 335 this is the deals elaborately about the uh, special provisions for scst you know untouchability of funds act 1955 the protection of civil rights act 1976 the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes prevention of atrocity act 1989 the bonded labor system abolition act 1976 the child labor provision regulation act 1976 these acts are safeguarding to the uh, scheduled tribes and scheduled uh, caste and scheduled tribes in india protection of women and children right to women exploitation and violation of women crime against the women women rights and the indian constitution national commission for women these institutions are safeguard the women in india also such type of list we have listed in such type of child rights child labor in india prohibition of child labor protection of child labor government uh, policies on child labor child labor laws in india national policy for child children the juvenile justice act 1986 the julian act care and protection children act 2000 these two uh, these are the acts are preserving women and children in india safe car for differently abled aged and minorities constitutional rights for differently abled persons pw persons rights of differently abled persons india person with disabled act 1999 policies in india also safeguard for aged initiative by government constitutional provision for uh, early, uh, early persons safeguards for minorities status of provisions global pursuits issues and challenges safeguards for tribals democratic profile of the tribals in india issues of human rights in tribals constitutional protection for the tribals policies and programs of the development of tribals so these things are preserved for the uh, differently aged and minority especially scheduled tribes peoples in india protection of human rights act 1993 national human rights commission in order to foster and secure of human rights in india the protection of human rights act 1993 was enacted the universal declaration the universal declaration of human rights adopted ud hr my dear students please note down ud has a very vital role in uh, human rights in international level the ud hr founded in 1948 has been considered as one of the landmark for international instruments milestone in the field of human rights the national human rights commission state human rights commission and district human rights commission courts are established by this act 
the function of this commission are to inquire to the cases relating to violation of human rights in its level state human rights commission my dear students we have discussed the national human rights commission now we are going to discuss about the state state human rights commission now with the un recommendation of the protection of the human rights commission was passed allowing the central and state government set up their own commission to investigate violations of human rights the state human rights commission consists of chairman and other members they are vested in powers to try to violations of human rights complaints and suggested suitable action to be taken against the violators the state commission following the heads a chairperson a chief of the high court one member judge of judges of high court judge of high court one member district judge in state two members knowledgeable and experienced person related to the human rights is the structure and functions of human rights and human rights courts to expect the tribal trial of offenses resulting from violation of human rights the state government may be concurrent list of uh, concurrence of the chief justice and high court designated the court of session of human rights courts for each district by notification <coughs> provided however the nothing in this section applies if a court session is already designated as a special court a special court has also been created those crimes under any other uh, state presently in effect thank you i think my dear learners we uh, we, we have we, uh, a little uh, discussion about the indian constitution and features of in constitution constitutional framework of india uh, indian constitution and human rights uh, i think it is very helpful for your preparation thank you very much thank you